Prior to emancipation, no rights existed for enslaved Texans. They were simply property. Until June 19, 1865, when General Gordon Granger announced freedom from the balcony in Galveston, granting liberty to the enslaved and fostering resentment from the society that used to be their masters. The new state constitution of 1869 recognized the rights of African-American men to vote, serve in office and on juries, and attend school. At the same time, pressure to keep the races separate emerged, giving birth to Jim Crow laws. African-Americans faced hate and violence through lynching and KKK intimidation, but discrimination also took legal forms with poll taxes and forced segregation. Access to education, especially through Texas's black colleges, created a learned African-American middle class, torchbearers for civil rights. The struggle to realize equality made many heroes in Texas, some of whose names are known, and countless others who fought in anonymity. By the mid-20th century, organizers emerged such as Juanita Kraft, who spread the message of the NAACP throughout Texas, and Wiley College's James L. Farmer Jr., who helped organize the Congress of Racial Equality. Protests, boycotts, and sit-ins moved freedom forward. Texans Dr. Lonnie E. Smith, Dr. Lawrence Aaron Nixon, and Hiran M. Sweat took their cases all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court obtaining rulings in favor of opening primaries to black voters and desegregating universities, colleges, and public schools. With the signing of the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and the Voting Rights Act in 1965, President Lyndon B. Johnson, a proud son of Texas, made Jim Crow segregation and discrimination illegal as well as paved the way to sweeping reform and the entrance of a powerful and influential African-American Texan woman into Congress, Barbara Jordan. 